In this video, we are going to learn how to find the derivatives of exponential functions. So let's have a function y equals a to the power u, okay, where a is greater than zero, okay, and then u can be a function or just a variable, okay, u can be a function or a variable. Then the derivative of this function here, which will be y prime, will be equal to a to the power u multiplying ln of a multiplying u prime, which is the first derivative of u. So let's see in a situation where we have the function to be y equals e to the power u, okay, where e is less number, okay, where e is less number, then y prime will be equal to e to the power u multiplying ln of e times u prime okay this is what you are going to get okay so let's look at what happened here e which is ls number is approximately 2.718 okay so we can substitute this value here and then you are going to have y prime to be equal to e to the power u multiplying mean of 2.718 okay and then this will multiply u prime okay so now let's look at what you get for lean of 2.718 okay so lean of 2.718 will give us one okay so i'm going to have y prime to be equal to e to the power u multiplying one multiplying u prime so therefore i'm going to have the derivative to be equal to u prime multiplying e to the power u. So any time you have an exponential function where the base number is less number, then you are going to have the derivative to be of this form. So let's take note. So let's look at an example. So let's say I have y to be equal to e to the power x okay so in this case u is just a variable which is what x then from what we just did then y prime okay will be equal to u prime multiplying e to the power u right but we know u to be equal to x in this case so therefore y prime will be equal to the derivative of x okay which is u prime and then that's that will be what one so that will be 1 times e to the power u, but we know u to be x, so that will be 1 times e to the power x. So therefore, we will have y prime to be equal to e to the power x. So this is the reason why the derivative of e to the power x is the same as e to the power x. Okay, so let's take note of this. Okay, so let's try our hands on another example. So with this example, I have y to be equal to e to the power x squared. Okay. So in this case, u is a function. Okay. So u is equal to x squared. That's a function of x. So you are going to need u prime. Okay. And then this will be equal to 2x. Okay. So now we go back to the general formula that we proved. So y prime will be equal to u prime times e to the power u. So let's do the substitution. That gives us y prime to be equal to u prime. Then that's two x. Okay, that's two x times e to the power u. Okay, that will be e to the power x squared. Okay, so this will be the derivative of the function that was given to us. Okay, let's take another example. So in this case, I have f of x to be equal to e to the power 3x. Okay, so the, the derivative of this function, which will be the f of x 
to the x okay this will be equal to this will be equal to you will have u prime okay you will have u prime here but in this case u equals what 3x so let's say you have u to be equal to 3x and then u prime will be equal to 3 so that will be equal to u prime and then that's 3 times times e to the power u and then that what e to the power 3x okay so this will give us 3 times e to the power 3x so to find the derivative of this kind of function okay all you have to do is to find the derivative of the of the u okay which is the function or the variable that will be given then you can multiply by that same exponential function then that will give you your derivative let's take another example so in this case you have y to be equal to e to the power x squared plus 3x okay so this is our y so in this case you are going to have u to be equal to x squared plus 3x so all you need here is u prime and this will be equal to 2x plus 3 right and we know that generally y prime will be equal to u prime times e to the power u and we know u prime already so we are going to have y prime to be equal to 2x plus 3 okay and then this multiplying e to the power u so that will be e to the power x squared plus 3x okay so this will be our answer for this case also okay so i have another example here okay where you have y to be equal to e to the power sine x okay so in this case we have u to be equal to sine x and u prime will be equal to the cosine of x right so y prime will be equal to u prime times e to the power u and then this will give us cosine of x times e to the power sine x so that will be the answer for this also so this is how to find the derivative of exponential function okay when you have the base to be a less number thank you very much for watching this video please make sure you like and subscribe